This is the Woodsmith Project, 250 acres in the North York Moors National Park. Because of where it's situated, there are very strict environmental guidelines on things like noise pollution, light pollution and water quality. Now there's a whole team of experts who are dedicated to making sure that Anglo-American hits those targets and today I'm here to meet them. The entire construction site sits on an impermeable layer of clay, which means water and potential contaminants can't leach down to the shallow groundwater bearing rock and is instead diverted to concrete lined ditches around the perimeter. Charlie Bell talks me through how the process is managed on site. You've got kind of gravity on your side. Explain a little bit about what goes on between where we've just been at the top of the hill down towards the bottom of the site here. So from the silt separation facility, we've got three attenuation ponds. They're used to attenuate the water and to slow down the flow. So when we get a heavy rainstorm, um, we don't have to get rid of all the water in one go. We can do that at a, a steady rate, so um, we're not inundating downstream. Where does it go from this point now? So from pond three, the water goes through the silt buster within the silt buster building. That chemically treats the water so that the water is fit for discharge to the stream. So this is our, our treatment process. The water comes in from the pond, uh, goes into um, mixing tanks where um, a flock plunge is, is added, which helps those fine silt particles all stick together. Um, and then they come through into, into these tanks, the clarifiers, where those silt particles can then uh, drop out of uh, suspensions. And we can see two bottles of water here. There's the one on the left-hand side is still quite cloudy and then the clear bottle here. This is what the water comes in looking like and this is what it leaves looking like. The water that's, uh, once it's been treated, it's crystal clear. It's wood smith spring water. There's a, there's a huge plug hole on the other side here, uh, about 30 centimetres in diameter. Where is that taking the water to next? The water is uh, piped from the silt buster and it goes underground through and comes out in the wetlands. And in terms of biodiversity and wildlife, what have you seen kind of move into this area? So since the pond's been there in the wetlands, we've had uh, damsonflies and dragonflies move in, uh, which they provide a feed source for the birds and, and bats, so it's a good thing to see. The water that ends up in the, the wetlands here certainly looks clean, but how exactly do you monitor uh, how clean it is? Yeah, so we have a probe within the water uh, with a telemetry unit attached. So that probe records uh, pH, um, turbidity and conductivity continuously. And you can set alarms on it as well. So if a level went above a certain limit, it would send an alarm and, and, uh, and we'd know straight away and we can act on it straight away. As Woodsmith sits at the top of the catchment, water flows off site into the Sneeton Thorpe Beck. Charlie and the team conduct regular checks to ensure the water quality reaching that small stream. So if you just fill that up a quarter full, that'd sure. be great. There we go, and then we can just put the pH meter in there. The pH there, it's reading 8.22, so that's that's well within our limits, that's a, it's a good number. So if I can get you to fill this little vial up, uh, sure. just to the white line, um, this measures uh, the turbidity, so that's the amount of suspended solids that's in the water. There we go. Um, so it's the, the clarity, it's, it's how well the silt buster has done its job. What are the measurements looking like just now? They're great, they look okay, uh, well within our limits. Clean water, job yeah. done. This is the place where the water from the Woodsmith project eventually runs, the River Esk, teeming with life. And this is precisely the reason why there's an environmental team on site. Because if the water that runs through here is not clean and clear, then it's the wildlife and it's the people down in Whitby, the tourists, the business owners and the surrounding communities that will feel the most impact.